Hi everyone, back here again for another video. If you've been here on my channel, you will know that I've been using the Logitech K380 keyboard for many years. And this was my very first keyboard that started this YouTube channel. And you will see this keyboard has received some, or maybe I should say a lot of love for me. And this keyboard was uh, my work companion for almost three years and it has stand the test of time. And if you scroll down in my YouTube videos, you will see my very first K380 keyboard that I made three years ago, but I've been using it for over a year before I shot this video. And now I'm pairing this with the new blue M350 Pebble Mouse. So first let's have a look at the Logitech K380 keyboard. As you may see here, this is very beaten up as I've been using this for over four years. And even though I own many keyboards now, just to let you know that for almost th three years, I was only using the K380 every day at work. So that was five days a week and almost eight to nine hours a day, or probably more. Now at its current state, I don't really care that it looks like this as it still works very well. And I think it honestly shows you guys how it holds up after several years. So just in case you're thinking about getting this blue K380. I don't normally eat and while well, I type, but yeah, maybe I did for a couple of times, <laughs> but how the keys turn out to be like this, especially the space bar, it's how my hand or my thumb particularly touches the keyboard. Plus the matte finish on the keyboard may also have been one of the factors. Because when I look at my Magic Keyboard, unfortunately it has the same marking on it, just like what I have here on the K380, particularly on the spacebar. But apart from the keys looking like this now, how it functions is still the same. All the keys are typing okay. I don't notice any typing issues and any lag. And this is the reason why this was my only keyboard for a long time. It's just simply reliable. The only reason I got the other keyboards is because when I started my YouTube channel, I wanted to be able to make more videos for you guys. Good excuse, huh? I made many videos on how to use the K380 and so you guys can check it out. I've linked it in the description box below. Now let's move to the Pebble Mouse. This does not fully match the color um, of the blue K380 keyboard, but it's blue. Why I got this are for two reasons. First, my M337, that is the perfect match to the K380 in terms of design, has kind of given up on me. The left click is broken as it seems to double click by itself. I might try to see if I can open this up and fix or maybe break it, I don't know. And the second reason I got this blue pebble mouse is because I got it on sale. I got this for 639 Thai baht which converts to less than 20 US dollars. Good deal, I believe. This may not be the most ergonomic mouse as and others may complain that it's not good to the hands. And that is true for me for some extent, but with the silent clicks and the light weight, my hand feels good while I use it. I also like how it makes my desk look minimalistic. This works well on my iPad, but I've mentioned in my other Logitech mice videos, scrolling with the scroll wheel is not that good. And you know, this happens to most Bluetooth mice I've used. This works very similar as the Pink Pebble Mouse. And so if you want to watch the full details on how to use the Pebble Mouse on the iPad, check out my other video.
aside from using this on my iPad, the K380 and the Pebble Mouse also work very well with my Windows laptop. The pairing is straightforward both for the keyboard and the mouse, and I don't have problems on typing or mouse lags while using it on my Windows laptop. And with the multi-device capability of the K380 keyboard, I can also use this with my iPhone. It's weird to use a mouse on the iPhone, but well, just to show you guys here, I can also use the mouse and pair it with my iPhone and here I'm using an iPhone 12. You just have to make sure to turn on assistive touch in the accessibility settings so the mouse will work on the iPhone. I saw several viewers who asked these questions in several of my videos asking if both of these two devices work together. I'm, I'm not really sure why many people ask this. Does this mean for some they cannot use the K380 and the M350 at the same time? Any one of you having this issue, please let me know in the comments section down below. But anyway, as you see here, I can use the K380 and the M350 mouse at the same time. Now let me show you some keyboard shortcuts and mouse gestures to go around the iPad. To go to the home screen on the keyboard, use Command and H. Or using the mouse, you could quickly drag down to go to the home screen. To do a split screen using the mouse, go to the dock and then click and drag an app on either right or left side. Release and that will be the split screen. To do a slide over screen, it's the same drag and app, but this time drag it in the middle and that will pop up as a slide over screen. Then to move between slide over screens, you can hover on the bottom line or bottom bar and then drag to switch apps. And to hide the slide over screen, just swipe to the right and that will then hide the slide over screen. To show it again, slide it the same way to show and hide the slide over screen. Now to do multitasking using just the keyboard, we need to do a bit of modification. We have to go into settings and go to keyboard, go to hardware keyboard and change the modifier keys. What we need is the globe key to do the multitasking shortcuts. And since we don't have it on the K380, what I will do is change caps lock to work as the globe key. So once this is changed, then I can do the multitasking shortcuts. So to do the split screen, I first need to be in an app and then I press caps lock and control and then either left and or right arrow key. So then again, I can choose what app I want to be on the other side. Now, if I want to do a slide over screen, what I can do is caps lock and option and then either left or right arrow key. And then again, I choose the app I want to open and then it will make the slide over screen. To move the slide over screen to either left or right, I do caps lock option and then left or caps lock option and then right. To hide the slide over screen, I can do caps lock and the backslash. To show it, do the same entry. To switch between the slide over screens, what I can do is caps lock command and the backslash. Again, check out my other videos in the description box below if you want to find full details about the K380 and Pebble Mouse. Leave a comment if you are using these two devices and how are you enjoying it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.